friends, it's Anna here. Welcome in my next video for Hip Kit Club. Today I am working with a sketch. You can see the sketch on the screen right now. Uh, and this will be my last layout with October kits. Um, I already did a few uh, projects and I got my November kits yesterday and they are looking gorgeous. I think they are one of my favorite kits uh, in this year, I would say. Um, I love the papers in the kits, they look divine and the uh, exclusive element also looks fantastic. I will be creating kind of a mixed media layout and I am searching through my paper. As you can see, I have uh, <laughs> a lot of leftovers right now, so I'm uh, trying to use up as much as possible of them before I will cut into the uh, 12 by 12 papers. Uh, I have, uh, this is a gratitude week on uh, HipKit Club um, social media. Uh, so I am creating a layout with my uh, family. I am, well, this, they are the thing I'm most grateful for in my for in my whole life and i love uh, our travels every summer and those are the pictures that you can during our last trip to corsica this year so i am going to use uh, four of them in my layout uh well i have so little pictures of my whole family i really need to catch it up because when i was searching for pictures for this layout i realized that we almost do not have any pictures with four of us i have a lot of pictures of my girls <coughs> sorry for the voice uh, some pictures with my hubby but four of us it's a real rarity to have on one picture i picked a white cardstock from a color uh, cardstock add-on kit and i am going to create kind of a mixed media background i am happy with uh, the layers of the paper behind the paper uh, behind the pictures so i am uh, marking where they will be on my page and i'm going to use uh, those pretty stamps they are from um Mercer Lane uh, set by a Heidi, uh, collection by Heidi Swap, and I stamped uh, two roses uh, on the spot there. I am sure they won't be visible, so do not worry if it looks chaotic because some of them will be covered with. Um, with paper so it was just you know a trying of the stamp and i am not trying it to be perfect because i will add some watercolor on on them many of the roses will be covered with uh with papers and embellishments but i just had to try uh, my uh, composition if it's enough of the uh, flowers picking up from the from behind the papers um, when I'm happy with how it all looks, I am pulling out my watercolors. They are Prima watercolors. We got one set in uh, some old um, color add-on kit. It was a tropical set and I have a mix of a tropical set and classic, classical and the current pies in those three palettes and uh, i am also using a uh, mist they were included in, in the previous color add-on kits as well and uh, they are from uh, shimmers and i am going to create this yellow navy kind of a uh, um, background i added uh, some water so the colors uh, on on flower spread and as you can see they create this messy watercolor look it was an experiment i wasn't you know uh, knowing what exactly i will get with it but i decided if i won't like it i will just start the background from the beginning and uh, after all it turns out really really nice so i decided to keep it uh, just like it and I'm adding a, a little bit more water to have the color spread. I'm not using watercolor paper, but the basil paper and American Crafts cardstock have this kind of a, a little bit shiny surface that makes colors flow for a while so they do not soak into the paper uh, immediately. You have some time. It's not a watercolor paper, but you have time. Uh, after it was all dry, I added um, paper, um, from a uh, whimsical collection uh, as a frame behind uh, my uh, my composition and i sew around it but uh, i did it also not only to add um, you know 
a frame but to uh, strengthen up my uh, cardstock too uh, but I like adding some darker frames around my white layouts uh, too so it, it had two purposes sorry I am talking <laughs> like with no sense today it's morning and uh, well I don't know I have no excuse for myself uh, when it's all dry and so around, I am starting to doing down the composition. I am tearing the paper, adding a, lot, a little bit of messy look because my background is kind of messy and I didn't want all those uh, papers to create just straight lines. And now I'm playing with flowers from a flower pack from a whimsical collection. I do not have much of them left because I really loved this. A pack and I use most of them already. I have flower compositions left mostly So I'm just trying uh, my flowers. I didn't want to cover the whole background So I'm just you know trying to place the elements the way they will not uh, cover every flower uh, created with watercolors. I also have this uh, circle frame from Vicky Bouten uh, Field Notes ephemera pack and I'm just going through everything uh, trying to find matching elements. I don't think I cut out anything from the process so you are seeing it just a fasten up and row <laughs> uh, exactly how it looked when I was uh, making this page. Um, I am going through everything I have in my kits, uh, but it's mostly whimsical collection because it was uh, uh, in a majority in this uh, October kits, which makes me happy, of course, because I'm such a fan of uh, Paige, Paige Evans collections. And I am adding some uh, 3D foam beneath some of the flowers to create a little bit of dimension. And I am also adding uh, the title. It will be so, I am so grateful to have you. And uh, I am using those golden tickers. I am not sure if they are exactly like they are supposed to be because it, they kind of look like, you know, it was printed and cut it in the other way that it was supposed to. But they are looking quite good. So I decided to keep them on the layout uh, because I wanted something gold. Uh, I am not sure. I have to check it. Maybe it was somewhere on the members forum that uh, they have some, you know, issues with making them in American crafts. Uh, so if you have similar ones, you can use them or I think you can write to Kimberly uh, or Robert to replace them. Or maybe they are meant to be like this. I am not sure. Uh, I am also adding uh, the smaller letters I am uh, for having you um, using those stickers, phone stickers from Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. And I am so in love with those alphabets. The previous collection also have similar ones in white and navy colors and they have so many letters so they last like forever. You can create so many inscriptions using them and now it's time to glue down the flowers leaves and create a composition uh, around the picture um i was trying to pick the colors that matches the papers because this collection is not like you know the fall themed one my pictures are not the fall themed but the papers has this you know um kind of a, a faded washed colors I'm not sure how to explain it in English but they look like a full papers to me so I was trying to look for the matching colors that's why I used um, rich yellow and this dirty blue on the background uh, using watercolors and now I am uh, trying to add more leaves from this uh, whimsical pack uh, I, I don't remember what I did next, but I think my layout is almost done. I think I only added some bits and pieces here and there, uh, but the sketch was very, very helpful. Uh, it's the sketch when you have a um, main composition and some, oh my God, sorry, a basic schmutz oh, added. Sorry for yawning, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I'm just uh, trying to, you know, uh, match the sketch as much as possible. I usually do not rotate the sketches when I'm working with them. I 
try to use them just like they are and uh, I want to add something around the picture uh, I wasn't sure what I should add so I was going through the stickers from whimsical collection and I decided to add two inscriptions and uh, for some texture I am going to add uh, puffy stickers later I think or not yeah, I think I added some smaller puppy stickers. I do not have much of them yet left. I used like a half of the packaging already, uh, but I really, really like them. Every um, puffy sticker sheet designed by Paige has very small elements and they are really great as, as you know, a final touch in every page. Uh, I really love this sticker book uh, too. It has so many stickers in it and they have this cool matte finish. They are not transparent because I'm not good in using transparent stickers. And uh, I think it will be my last step adding those um, rabbons. They are not necessary here, but I have some of them left and I thought it, if I will not use them right now, I will probably not use them for a long time. So I'm trying to fit uh, as much as I can uh, of them into this page. Um, you know how it is with uh, rabbons. If you want to use them immediately, they will lose the stickiness. So you don't have, you know, like years to hoard it and use them later. You have to use them uh, quite fast. That's why I am trying to incorpor incorporate as much as, of them as possible. Uh, I really like those stitches uh, included into the ribbon sheet, and um, but this one has a lot of inscriptions, and inscriptions doesn't always matches the layouts I make uh, because there are not a lot of white spots you can add them so they are not so visible uh, but i think i managed to use one sheet uh, from those uh, rabbons which is really really great and my layout is ready here are the close-ups thank you for stopping by don't forget to check the links below for the uh, kids to check what's inside them and to check December kids because they were revealed and they are filled with so many gorgeous uh, exclusive goodies thank you for watching and bye bye